In this video I'm going to show you how you can make the bass brass as well as the horns from Aaron Hebel's Oppenheimer remix. Um, it's called Destroyer of the Worlds and it's gonna sound like this. For both of these sounds we're gonna use Nexus and Serum. Now you don't necessarily need Nexus, I have an option for you at the end of the video how you can get these sounds without Nexus, but Aaron Hebel himself actually used a nexus for the horns and we're gonna do the same here and inside nexus we're gonna go into the rom extension to brasses and pick the brass band preset which is gonna sound like this then and we're going to turn off the reverb and we're going to go to the layer section also turn off both oscillators here and then it's gonna sound like this Sounds kind of weird right now, but we're quickly gonna change that. So first we're gonna set the attack to about 40 and then set the release to 49 to give it a little bit release here. Then we're gonna add a filter to take out a little bit of the low frequencies. I'm using a high pass filter set to uh, 34. And then we're gonna go to, over to the effects section and add an overdrive distortion here. I'm um, gonna pick the orange model here and you can copy the settings over here. It's pretty important for the brassy sound. And that's gonna sound like this then. Now the distortion is a little bit sharp, so I also added an EQ and dipping out some of the high end. taking out a little bit of that sharpness. Now we pretty much have the sound done in here. Uh, we only have to go to the modulation, uh, set the mode here to legato and then set the speed to a half triplet and that gives us this gliding effect and now it sounds like this. So now we got the basic sound done and the processing for this one is super simple. So on the mixer channel we're adding some Valhalla vintage reverb and this is the default presets. I haven't changed anything other than the mix. I brought it down a little bit and uh, it's gonna sound like this. And so we're already getting a pretty big horn sound here. Then on top of the reverb, we're putting some OTT here. Uh, this is the default setting. I only reduced the input gain because the compression was a little bit too strong. Finally, a little bit of sidechain on top. And the sound is pretty much done. Next, we're coming to the pumping bass sound, which we're gonna make with Serum, and we're gonna turn on the noise oscillator here, and we're gonna pick the ARP white noise, bringing down the level a little bit down to about 20% here. And then we're gonna turn on oscillator A and B, and for both of these, we're gonna pick the basic mini waveform on the first position. Now for the second oscillator, you wanna bring up the octave by one, and you're also gonna set the unison to two and give it a slight amount of detune, and that's gonna sound like this then. On the envelope here, we're gonna give it a little bit of release, about three to 400 milliseconds here. Something like this. And then we're gonna add a filter and set it to A, B, and the noise oscillator. And on the filter, we're gonna go down to about uh, 127, about this. And give it a little bit more drive here. And this is how it sounds right now. Now next we're going to automate the filter to create this pumping effect and we're gonna use LF01 and you're gonna draw a curve that looks like this here. I'm setting it to trigger BPM and anchor and to a half rate. And now we're gonna drag this over to here and set this to about 47 and then you get it sounding like this. And to glide between the notes, we're gonna set this here to always and give it a little bit of glide time, not too much, but just like about 20 milliseconds, nothing like this. And I also actually layered the level of oscillator B. Now, most of the sound is pretty much done. In the FX section, we're gonna add an EQ, taking out some of the low end and this little dip here, which shapes the tone a little bit more. And now it gets this really crunchy sound. And next we're gonna add a little bit of tube distortion here on top. And then we're gonna send this to a mixer channel and give it a little bit more processing. And for the processing, we're gonna use the exactly same trick uh, going into Valhalla Vintage Verb set to 30% this time. Um, the decay is slightly reduced. I also gave it a little bit more pre-delay because it's a bass sound. So the reverb actually starts a little bit later. Um, and I also took out some of the low end because it's a bass sound, it's, it's gonna clutter up a lot of the reverb. And then on top of that, again, OTT on the default settings, I just slightly brought down the depth and then you have the sound done. And when we put these both together, it's gonna sound like this.
Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I have a alternative for the Nexus patch and actually simply sampled the noise, uh, put it into Serum, tweaked some of the oscillator here, uh, gave it a little bit of processing and it sounds pretty much the same. So you can basically get the Nexus sound without having to use Nexus and that's gonna sound like this. So you can hear it's, it's pretty much the same sound. As always, you can get the sounds we use in our videos in the monthly membership program called The Secret Producer Club. You can find a link for in the description below. This is an additional resource for producers and you also help supporting this channel. Are you getting access to a big vocal library? You're getting tons of samples. We have exclusive content for you there. If you want to join, there's a link for in the description below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, give it a thumbs up and we'll see each other in the next one.